Welcome to the Navisworks video tutorial for interference checking. 3D interferences are very common when you're bringing multiple models together for the first time. These interferences must be discovered as quickly as possible to assure a quality design and reduce construction problems. Navisworks enables the effective identification, inspection, and reporting of interferences from the digital model with a versatile set of clash detection tools. The digital model of factory layouts, work cells, and production lines can be inspected to detect potential issues such as equipment collisions and space restrictions. Navisworks also works with laser scan point clouds. Large volumes of point clouds can be imported into the digital environment to compare the as-built laser scan with the 3D model data. Let's start off this demonstration by running a simple clash detection between the assembly line and the roof supports of the building. The clash detection window is located on the left side of the Navisworks interface. In the window, you will find five tabs that help you set up a clash detection. On the select tab, you have the opportunity to define two selection sets. For the left selection set, I'm going to select the three assembly lines from the Navisworks environment. On the right side, for the right selection set, I'm going to come down to the bottom of the window and toggle over to my selection sets. I have a pre-established selection set for the roof supports in the building. Navisworks can analyze the interference between the selection sets based on surfaces, lines, and points. We need to make sure we set both of these sets for surface analysis. I also want to make sure of the interference type. In this case, we'll be checking for hard interferences. Now that we have the clash detection set up, we'll go ahead and run the test. Navisworks reports that four interferences were found. The results tab gives us a list of all the interfering objects. As we click through the interferences, they are highlighted on the screen. The Report tab allows you to export the clash detection report in HTML, text, or XML formats. Clash detection can also be performed on laser scan point clouds. Point clouds are not solid models. They're just a collection of individual points shot by a laser scanner. Navisworks can detect interferences between the as-built point cloud and a new digital model. For this portion of the demonstration, I need to determine if the new digital model of the pipe run interferes with the as-built point cloud of the boiler room. On the Clash Detection Selection tab, for the left-hand selection set, I'm going to select the boiler room point cloud. I need to make sure to analyze the boiler room in way of points. For the right-hand set, I'm going to select the pipe run model, and I'll be doing that analysis based on surfaces. For this demonstration, I need to change my interference type from hard to clearance. My minimum tolerance for the clearance will be 5 millimeters. I'll click the Start button to analyze the interference. Navisworks reports back that one interference was detected. I'll click the Results tab and the two interfering components are highlighted. We can walk into the assembly and see where the point cloud interferes with one of the members in the pipe run. It's important to note that the clash detection feature is only available in the Navisworks Manage application. In this video, we focused on the value of clash detection. Detection of interference errors early in the design process is critical for saving time and reducing cost. The clash detection tools in Navisworks can analyze solid data as well as large volume laser scan point clouds. The automated clash detection process 
also eliminates the tedious task of checking for interferences manually.